Yo, what's up? It's 2020, and a new year is always a chance to change things up. You know, try something new and get out of your comfort zone. I am, of course, talking about carrying a different style of knife. But before we get into the juicy main part, let's get the rest of my EDC gear out of the way first. And there have been some changes, mostly though, just in order to accommodate my new EDC knife. Another thing I want to quickly mention is the whole concept of EDC. EDC, for those of you who don't know, is short for everyday carry. So what I'm showing you is technically not everyday carry, since I change things out on an almost daily basis. But hey, part of the reason for that is simply in order to get content for the channel. But maybe, that is also just an excuse I use to buy new stuff all the time. So when I use the term EDC, just know that for me it might mean something different than it does for you. For me, it basically means currently preferred or the thing I'm currently trying out. But anyway, the last small thing I want to mention before getting into the actual content is that I will be traveling to New York for a week at the end of January. So this is, to some degree, an interim EDC setup. When traveling, I will obviously have to change things here and there. Would you be interested in seeing what my travel EDC looks like? Maybe even including my travel slash photography backpack? Let me know in the comments down below. But back to my EDC. A lot has stayed the same here. There are just a few things I can't seem to get away from. So let's start with the usual. Phone, wallet, watch and keys. My phone and case have not changed since the last update. It is still the iPhone X in a nomadic case with a brown leather backside. Love it, no complaints. My keys are also the same. The Travex link is honestly an item that is just hard to get away from once you got hooked. I might get this in different colors in the future though. Same goes for the tools on my Travex link. I have switched out my Victorinox Jetsetter Alox for a 2018 Red Small Classic to reduce bug, but the rest stayed the same, so I'm still rocking the Olight i1R and the Leatherman Bruiser. I use all of these pretty much every day and they cover all the basics, so no need to change. For my wallet, I'm back to using my Don Bolso Burn, at least for the moment. There was nothing wrong with the Maker Zip looks that I showed you in my last update and I will still do a review on that and most likely continue to carry it in the future. But it was just too big to carry it in my pocket alongside a fixed blade. Also, the Don Bolso remains my all-time favorite wallet design. It's certainly not without its faults, but I've made a whole review about it, which I will link in the description in case you're interested. On my wrist is still my beloved SYN 104. While I can absolutely see myself getting deep into watches in the future and trying out all kinds of brands, that is not where I want to focus my spendings on at this point in time. But if you are interested and I keep this channel up long enough, there might come a time with a heavier focus on the world of automatic watches. My current flashlight of choice is the Lumentop FW3A in raw aluminium. I have also made a review about this one and linked it in the description as well. I like the warmer tint the Nichia 219Cs give me in the winter and I also feel like the warmer tint actually works better to brighten up wet roads. So FW3A it is for now. What would be the point of having such a great light anyway, if I wouldn't use it in my rotation occasionally? Now for the most important change, the knife. As I said in the intro, I'm currently experimenting with carrying a fixed blade knife as my EDC blade. It's not any knife though, it's the Heidi Blacksmith No. 1 by Best Tech. Heidi Blacksmith is a very well established custom knife maker here in Germany, with unique and highly recognizable designs. His custom knives are, as they should be, on the more expensive side of things, but he recently partnered up with Best Tech to mass produce one of his designs at a more affordable price point. Since I have never seen myself as the kind of person who would carry an EDC fixed blade, but also loved his designs, I jumped at the chance and bought one as soon as I found out. So far, I'm not disappointed, quite the opposite. Now, to understand why anyone would carry a fixed blade on a daily basis, you have to keep some things in mind. First of all, you would obviously have to have a need to carry a knife on you. If you are the kind of person who never uses a knife and couldn't imagine why anyone would carry one, this obviously wouldn't make any sense for you. If on the other hand, you already carry a knife and use it as a tool in your everyday life on a regular basis, there might be some benefits here for you, worthy of your consideration. But for you folks from around the world who maybe live in a more liberal country, Keep in mind that here in Germany we are generally speaking not allowed to carry a folding knife with a one hand opening and locking blade. You can however, at least as of now, carry either a locking blade that can only be opened two handed like a buck knife, a non locking blade like a slip joint or a fixed blade as long as the blade is no longer than 12 cm. Since I don't own any two handed locking knives, for me the choice is pretty much down to slip joint or fixed blade. Up until now I have always gone the slip joint route, simply out of convenience. 
I wouldn't want to quote unquote open carry a fixed blade knife in my day to day life and most fixies are not exactly pocketable. The Heidi Blacksmith number no. 1 was therefore a total game changer for me. It's obvious why a fixed blade knife has its advantages compared to a slip joint. It is more robust and more secure when using the knife, so there is less of a chance of either hurting the knife or yourself. And as a bonus, especially when you use your knife for food prep and such, it is far easier to clean and therefore there is no fear of dirt that can get into and clog up any moving parts. Also, just from a design standpoint, the knife maker has much more room to make a more ergonomically pleasing knife, because he doesn't have to take into consideration where the moving parts will go. After all, a folding knife is always a tool that compromises functionality for mobility. So that's an easy win. However, most fixies have, as stated earlier, drawbacks and that they are simply too big and too clumsy to carry on your person. But due to its design, these drawbacks are non-existing with the Heidi. First of all, it is a very slim knife and the Kydex sheath it comes with is very low profile as well. So when it's on my person, it actually prints less than most folding knives I own. Secondly, it's not a very long knife and at least for me, it does fit perfectly into my pants pockets without poking into my intestines even when sitting down. I have been using this as my daily carry for a bit more than a week now, so I can't give you a final verdict. However, up until now it has been great. Not only is this a very pleasing knife to use for everyday tasks, but I have taken it on a hike as well and it performed outdoors just as well as it did in my day to day life. So I hope you are interested in this and if you are, expect to see a review about this guy on my channel in the coming weeks or months. Also, I'm planning to make a leather sheath for this, so I can hang it on my belt in style while outdoors. If anyone is interested, I would make a video about that as well. Anyway, that's it for now. I guess next week I will make a video about my travel EDC for New York, so if you are interested, stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know what you think about the whole carrying a fixed blade knife thing. Thanks for watching and take care.